Well, hey guys, I thought uh, today we'd talk a little bit more about the seven segment displays and multiplexing them. So, just as a kind of refresher for guys that are new at this, these can be a little bit confusing, so that's why I'm doing this video. So if we have our display with the seven segments, and it actually is really eight when we add in the decimal point, the segments are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the dot. And they're connected like this. These are your line ends. Each one is connected to an LED. You know, these are light emitting diodes. And then the cathode section are all connected to a common ground. So this is known as the common cathode. So to make these things work, we have to apply a logic level high to the inputs. So for instance, if we want to light up the number one, we look over here and we see that it's B and C. So we write a high to B and to C, but we don't write them at the same time because we don't want to draw too much amperage. You know, the, your, your basic LED is drawing 20 milliamps. And the max you want to draw from any pin on the Arduino is 40 milliamps. So by turning these on and off, we can do what's known as multiplexing. So let me bring this in here and give you a look at this. Now this is just counting up in hexadecimal. You can see all of the individual segments are brought out to different pins on the Arduino. And all we're doing is lighting them up one at a time. And there is a 220 ohm resistor on each of the commons. And no, they're not in parallel cutting their value in half because only one is ever on at the same time, okay? All right, so let me slow this down a little bit for you and show you how it actually works. All right, what I've done now is I've added a potentiometer to control the delay in between lighting the individual segments. Now what we have here is just the number eight being lit, one segment after another. And if we slow it down, you can see exactly what's happening. So this is at the most simple definition, multiplexing. And then because of what's called persistence of vision, when we speed it up to a certain point, your eye is no longer able to differentiate that these things are being turned on and off and all of a sudden to your eye they appear to be solid numbers when in fact what we're actually getting is just this pretty cool huh if you like this, 
I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, like, share it, feel free to comment. Don't forget we're having a giveaway on St. Patrick's Day 2017, giving away an Arduino Zero. So tell your friends, get them to subscribe. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed. Now I'll see you next time.